It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. And can anybody remember Captain Guile? Captain Guile was a Street Fighter 2 character. And when I was growing up as a school kid, um, he used to do Sonic Boom, if, if anybody can remember. And he used to, in the schoolyard, he used to go Sonic Boom, that sort of thing, messing about with your mates. Um, it was Street Fighter 2, the computer game made by Capcom. It probably changed. It was one of those games that it was next level. It was next gen. If you put Street Fighter 2 on now, you'd be thinking, that's really, really old fashioned. But back in the day, especially when you started off with stuff like Donkey Kong, I did anyway, Manic Miner, Donkey Kong, never played Street Fighter 1, very clunky. But when this came out, Blimey, it was like next level. It was like pe the kids were queuing up in the arcades, literally a queue behind this machine to play this game. And this is a tribute to Street Fighter 2 and Captain Guile. It's called, it's by Seeker Brewing in Australia, 8.4% ABV, 440 milliliter can. And it's called Sonic Boom, double W-C-I-P-A, Boomstick. I think it's called Boomstick, Sonic Boom. <laughs> and I think, I've not read it on the back of the can, um, they've actually pre paid tribute, there's a little bit of a spiel on the back of the can about this uh, very, very game. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, great can art on this one. Look at that. Without further ado, let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. Look at this. Uh, this is certified Australian craft beer. Uh, independent, you can see there on the back of the can. Uh, we got a one finger white head, good levels of carbonation. It's a hazy, light, amber coloured beer uh, with not much in the way, of, well, there's no sediment at all in the bottom of the glass. How did I get this beer? I've never heard of this beer. I want to say a massive thank you. I've never heard of Seeker Brewing. Again, this is amazing to be able to try beers from around the world. Mick in Australia gets a paper tube, cardboard tube, fills it up with cans, sends it to the other side of the world for me to review on the channel. And I will never ever, like, I still can't believe it to this day. I'm still like over the moon and, and, and just very grateful and humble, humble and grateful that um, people from around the world decide to send us beer here on the channel. I think it's absolutely fantastic. So thank you, Mick. Really appreciate it. But knowing you, Mick, you want me to get on with a beer review. So we will. We will. Um, nice and hazy. Let's get the aroma on it then. Wow, that is hops in a glass. Tangerine, orange peel, grapefruit. Passion fruit and mango. So juicy though. So, so juicy. A little bit of sweetness in there. A little bit of spiciness and pepperiness. Slight wafer malt aroma. It smells terrific, it really does. 8.4% ABV. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody.
Wow, stone the crows, stone the crows, super smooth, fantastic mouthfeel. Leans into a little bit of sweetness, then leans back into a little bit of bitterness. So it's got a lovely balance to the beer, but most of this flavour, make no mistake about it, most of the flavour is in the middle of the beer. It's not leaning too far sweet. It's not leaning too far bitter. It's all kind of coming in and kind of cramming into the middle and all of the flavours are in the middle. So what are we getting? There's tangerine. There's grapefruit. There's orange peel. There are peels. There's some kind of like grapefruit and orange actual kind of fleshy fruit but a lot of it is kind of what I call kind of the peels as if you were to pull a bit of orange peel off and a bit of grapefruit peel and stick it in your mouth at the same time it's that slightly kind of acidic bitter now most of you might be thinking oh can you put orange peel in grapefruit peel in your mouth it's not going to be a very nice experience in the beer industry um it, it's kind of like a pithy we call it like a pithy peel kind of flavor to the beer and that's all that that's definitely the hops the hops in, in, in this beer are shining amazing There's enough carbonation to push the beer around the inside of the mouth to release more of that flavour. But you definitely get the sense of it being a double beer. A beer that's over 8% ABV. You just get this kind of like slight creaminess from the malts in the beer. A wafer, biscuit flavour that's slightly creamy on the mouthfeel. But then that carbonation lifts that, that slight creaminess that's going on. And then... It's all about the hops. It's all about the hops in this beer. They're shining. I absolutely love Australian, American, New Zealand hops. They're hot countries of the world. They're hot kind of across California, Australia, New Zealand. When they're growing those hops in the fields and there's baking on that sun is baking down on them, then it's almost like it, it it's almost like you know, we don't get as much sun here in the last couple of summers. We've had bonkers heat. I mean, I'm pretty sure that we could probably grow some cascade the way things are at the moment and some centennial maybe in the UK. Um, but these hops in, in, in Australia and America and New Zealand, they're just so juicy. And that all comes from like longer hours, longer daylight hours, longer sun, warmer weather, better soil, and it just makes for a much better hops. It's so juicy, this beer. Incredible, incredible beer. Really, really fantastic kind of double IPA. And apologies for not knowing the brewery. Um, I never ever claim to be an encyclopedia. I never claim to be kind of like the, the, the beer or the end all. I know everything about beer. I know every single brewery that exists in the world. I'll never, I'll never ever be, you know, like that in my life. Um, of course, Seeker Brewing, they're over in Australia, the, the, the other side of the world. I'm pretty sure they won't mind that I don't know or haven't heard of them before now. The point is their beer is fantastic and that's all they'll care about is their beer is absolutely fantastic. But what is a WC IPA? I don't know. Comment in the comments box. WC. The only WC I know of is a toilet. Um, so yeah, what is WC IPA? Let me know in the comments box down below. Um, a recent chat with our mates at Boomstick that us to reflecting on growing up in the early 90s and we decided to theme a beer around an old arcade favourite for this double West Coast IPA. West Coast. West Coast IPA, WC. There we are, we got it ourselves. Um, Sonic Boom has a savage combination of Cri Chinook Cryo, Amarillo and Simcoe for a heavy punch of citrus and pine. 
there is a moderate flash kick of bitterness at the back end too. Step up, feed the machine, game on. They were great, weren't they? Weren't they great? Back in the day, oh, I said, look, I remember when um, I just, go oh, let me rate the beer first and I'll tell the story after because you want the rating for this beer, don't you? It looks good. It smells good. It tastes incredible. That for me is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 Stone the Crows double IPA. Please check it out. But the, the, some of you may want to hear this story. I remember being old enough that this game come out on um, consoles eventually. And I always remember I had a Commodore Amiga. It came out on the Commodore Amiga, but it was clunky as hell. Clunky as hell. And I always remember being jealous because the Super Nintendo and the Sega Mega Drive always used to play this game smoothly. It was just smooth. It just worked. Um, and I didn't have any of those cons. I didn't have a Nintendo. I didn't have a Sega Mega Drive. I had a Commodore Amiga, which in its day was brilliant in its own right. I loved my Commodore Amiga, but it just couldn't quite handle Street Fighter 2. And that was probably the last game on that kind of system, because they went bust, Commodore and Amiga. Um, so, you know, that was probably the last kind of call of action for that machine type of thing. And uh, what did I go to? I think I jumped from a Commodore to a PlayStation 1, I think. I think. I can't quite remember. It was a long time ago. I was a teenage boy. Um, thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.